Hello everyone. Now we are going to solve one problem, a very simple problem to obtain the dynamic load carrying capacity of the bearing when it is a simple ball bearing. So we are going to obtain the dynamic load carrying capacity of the bearing which is a simple ball bearing. There is a radial load which is having a magnitude of 5 kN and the application requires 90% uh, or expected life for the 90% of the bearings to be 8000 hours. The shaft's rotation speed is 1450 rpm. So as per our usual practice, first of all we will write down the given things. So in this case the load acting on the ball bearing is purely radial load. So because of that we can say that fr is equal to 5 kN then the expected life that is l10h so this is 8000 hours afterwards we need to calculate the dynamic load carrying capacity the shaft's rotation speed n it is 1450 rpm so now we will proceed with the solution of the problem So in this case, I have told uh, so many times during my lecture that as soon as you see the expression of L10H or the value of L10H, the very next thing that you should look for is determination of value of L10, that is life of the bearings in million revolution. So that's what we will do in the first instance. Just give me a second. Yes. So immediately life of bearing in uh, million revolutions l10 this is equal to 60 n l10 h divided by 10 to 6 so that is equal to 60 multiplied by small n is 1450 l10 h is 8000 hours divided by 10 raised to 6 we will do it on the calci so 60 n into l10 that is 8000 divided by 10 raised to 6 so that gives out to be 696 million revolutions So that is the L10 parameter. Now why do we need L10 parameter? Because I will just put it here in other uh, ink. So we know that uh, the basic load life relationship for the bearing is given as L10 is equal to C upon P where P is your equivalent dynamic load, C is your uh, load carrying capacity. But then this capital C divided by capital P entire bracket rest to small p so just note I have written small p in a different way and capital P in a different way so in this case we need the equivalent dynamic load and then see right now we have this L10 parameter with us because it is a ball bearing for ball bearing as we know from our theory for ball bearing small p is equal to 3 so it means we also have this small p we don't have capital c we now need to look for capital p because capital c is our final value to be calculated so what is the input which is available to us if you look here the radial load which is acting on the ball bearing there is no actual load which is acting on the ball bearing so it means that excuse me yes so it means that only radial load which is acting on bearing so it means that whatever is your equivalent dynamic load we know uh, the basic formula uh, for that 
equivalent dynamic load which is xfr plus yfa i will just put it here for your knowledge so xfr plus yfa but in this case here your fa is equal to zero so there is no need to look for y and in this situation from our theory we know that only because only radial load is acting so it means that your capital p will be equal to fr so that will be equal to fr is given as 5 kilo newton so that is 5000 newton that is your capital p so now see you have l10 you have capital p you have small p the only unknown quantity is uh, capital c so it implies that your basic correlation once again l10 so actually this is for ball bearing so what is the equation so l10 is equal to capital c upon capital p rest to small p this is equal to uh, capital it implies that I, now i will put in the values how much is l10 l10 is 696 this is equal to capital c divided by capital p is 5000 newton rest to small p is 3 so how to proceed with this now you do one thing if you are uh, i have seen some students facing difficulty with the calci in this aspect so first of all what you do you calculate 696 raised to 1 by 3 so it will become capital c upon 5000 then immediately after that what you can do you can do it like this 696 raised to 1 by 3 do not increase the steps in the calculator i am just uh, doing this for your understanding into 5000 so that is equal to capital c so you do this immediately what you will get is capital c because when this 3 will go on the other side this power will change so that is why it will become 1 by 3 so you directly put this term in the calculator remember you put one second i think i have changed the color yes so you directly put this term in the calculator and you will get the answer i will just do it in front of you so 696 but while putting the power of 1 by 3 you need to be very careful because most of the times what students do they put in the power like this okay one that's it and then there is three remaining as it is so if you are using a calculator of let us say uh, 991 ms or let us say you are using 100 ms then you need to be very careful in that case what i will suggest you put in uh, the power like this rest to bracket 1 by 3 then bracket close then next you can multiply by 5000 if you maintain very well with the brackets if you are careful with the brackets then your answer cannot go wrong please remember this thing so uh, i have calculated 696 rest to 1 by 3 multiplied it by 5000 so the answer that is coming out it is double four 310.476 newton remember why newton because we had converted the value of fr in newton and that's why this value of capital c will also be in newton this is a very small numerical but a very fundamental one to understand the placement of quantities in their appropriate units and that's why you should solve this i hope this thing is useful to you in continuation with this we are going to solve one more numerical this second numerical is like this that there is a taper roller bearing one second i just added one page in this yes so there is a taper roller bearing which has a dynamic load carrying capacity of 26 kN. the desired life for 90 percent of the bearings is 8000 hours so immediately you recognize now that this is your l10h this quantity is immediately that is what you should recognize dynamic load carrying capacity so this is equal to capital c afterwards 
the speed of the shaft is 300 rpm so that is small n we need to calculate the equivalent radial load or equivalent load carrying capacity of this particular bearing so we will proceed with the answer first of all we will write down the given things so what are the given things so that dynamic load carrying capacity it is capital c that is 26 kilo newton so immediately you can try it. this is 26 into 10 raised to 3 newton life desired life in terms of hours so that's why this is l10 h which is equal to 8000 hours speed is 300 rpm we need to calculate the one second yes we need to calculate the equivalent radial load so now we will proceed with the solution all right uh, okay so i will remember our basic equation will remain same that whatever is l10 this is equal to capital c by capital p rest to small p now the only difference here is that you should observe it's a taper roller bearing now it is not a simple ball bearing so what is the difference between a taper roller bearing and a ball bearing when it comes to this yes uh, yes when it comes to this particular equation the difference is in the value of p in case of taper roller bearing the value of small p will be equal to 10 by 3 or 3.33 you can take i will suggest go for 10 by 3 because it will eliminate your round of error so again we will focus on the same thing i have told you as soon as you see the value of l10 h immediately you should see if you can obtain the value of l10 so immediately l10 is equal to 60 n l10 h divided by 10 raised to 6 i will substitute the values so 60 the speed of rotation is 300 rpm l10 h is given 8000 hours divided by 10 raised to 6 let us do it in the calci so 60 n l10 h divided by 10 raised to 6 144 million revolutions is the life of the pairings okay so now we have l10 again i will keep this on the side because it helps me to check where i have reached exactly it is just like my google map that i know the fin uh, final destination now this equation tells me where i have to go so i have l10 and then from given things once again you have this c so you have this c you know the type of bearing that's why you have small p so you have small p then immediately it means that you will be able to obtain this capital p so let us substitute these values now so using this equation so what one second what we can write here so it implies that l10 that is 144 the same equation it is equal to capital c 26 into 10 raised to 3 divided by capital p now the question will come why we are looking for capital p because see p capital p which is uh, equivalent dynamic uh, load that is equal to x fr plus y fa now they have told you already actually already in the problem statement itself that they want equivalent radial load that the bearing can carry which means that they do not have any axial load on this particular bearing so this axial load it is out of the picture it means that they have only radial load on this bearing so because of this capital p will be equal to capital Oh, sorry will be equal to fr because there is only radial load remember this will not be the case every time uh, in the, our next numerical we will do 
uh, one thing we will uh, take a numerical in such a way that it will have both radial load as well as axial load so in this case there is only radial load so that's why p will be equal to fr and this is what has been asked to us which means from this equation if we are able to calculate p immediately we have our final answer and that is why now here we are substituting the values in that equation so l10 is 144 capital c is 26 kilo newton so 26 into 10 raised to 3 newton capital p is unknown and raised to small p small p in case of taper roller bearing so that is equal to 10 by 3 now so many times students are confused how to treat with this so do one simple thing just like we did in the uh, previous numerical take this 10 by 3 on this side that's what you should do first for simplification so it gives you 144 rest to this 10 by 3 remember this 10 by 3 when it will go on the other side of equality sign it will become 3 by 10 in the power so 144 rest to 3 by 10 this is equal to 26 into 10 raised to 3 divided by capital P now ultimately this entire equation will turn into actually we want P on one side so everything else will go on the other side so capital P this will be equal to 26 into 10 raised to 3 divided by 144 raised to 3 by 10 that is it so ultimately now we are able to get our capital P we will put this uh, term in the calculator and we will obtain our capital P so let us start so 26 into 10 raised to 3 divided by 144 raised to I have told you whenever there is a fractional power you should put a bracket even if you are using any calci so 3 by 10 so the value comes out to be 5854.16 I have written this value now for uh, those people who do not have this ES type of calculator what you should do uh, you should go for uh, using appropriate bracket so I will show you that as well so 26 into 10 raised to 3 okay mul sorry not multiplied by divided by now here you should put one bracket uh, I will put it here as you see you are now putting putting bracket for this entire denominator whatever brackets we open we will also need to close those brackets so open bracket so 144 rest to again now open the bracket so that you can put the power here 3 by 10 close the bracket for the power also close the bracket for the denominator that you had opened so still your answer will be the same you will not be making any mistake in the answer you just need to be careful while uh, putting in the brackets so you get the same answer 5854.16 so in this way actually today we have solved for the first time we have solved two numericals two fundamental numericals so that you can get a good understanding that how to treat such simple problems of uh, dynamic load carrying capacity and equivalent dynamic load we'll meet in the next lecture i hope this is useful to you thank you and all the best